We are here in Denmark in a community of Esbjerg where we, MIN Energy Solutions, is building the first supercritical heat pump, which provides district heating on a carbon neutral basis. The speciality of the system we're installing here is that we're using seawater as a heat source, CO2 as a refrigerant, and the electrical compressor hermetically sealed, which uses electricity locally produced by wind farms here in Esbjerg. The heat pump will replace heat produced by the coal-fired power station corresponding to around 300,000 tons of CO2 emission per year, which is saved. The inner harbour here, we pump water up to the, the heat pump. It goes to the evaporator, which you actually can see here, uh, where it evaporates CO2, goes into a compressor that compresses it up to a critical pressure, uh, and then it goes to a heat exchanger, takes the heat out at a higher temperature, and returns the CO2 to a lower pressure that goes into the evaporator, and so it goes on and on and on. Basically, we have a reverse air conditioning unit. Instead of using the electricity to cool a building, we're using the electricity to draw heat from the seawater, multiply it, and then send it to the district heating network. The entire uh, thought behind the, the, what we call the project here, District Heating for the Future of Fremtidens Fjernvarme in Danish, is actually that we can work with the electrical grid, balance it. So it's not only a question about the heat pump, but the whole our supply side, we have a battery and so on here. So everything has been designed to help balance the grid. And the heat pump is a, the biggest part of it. So we can take excess electricity when it's there in the grid, convert it to heat and send it out to our customers at another point in time, or vice versa. By doing this, we help providing better electrical services and a cheaper heat to our customers.